user online regarding my upgrade to the four terabyte drives two four terabyte drives in raid zero making it eight terabytes total size on my dell x17 r2 wants to know the temperature if i've been having any issues with overheating so i decided to do another video i already did a video on this sort of just letting you know in general use i had no issues um, so now what i'm trying to do is stress it out the actual computer i've gotten it up to 140 degrees uh, temperature for the drives that's one of the drives and then this is the other drive oh i got this one up to 156 so i can't get it to uh, 158 would be the max and i'm running everything i'm running um uh, this is just close down on the down Power Max, stressing out the CPU, uh, stressing out the GPU, just to do different things in regards to performance. And I'm running a sequential read write by Crystal. I maxed out 64 gigs, gigabytes in size, nine times. I'm also running uh, Blackmagic Raw Speed Test and a standard Blackmagic Hard Drive Speed Test. And I've been running it now, I'm gonna say about half an hour or so. so I want to see if I can get this even harder. I'm gonna do some uh, copy and paste with some files I'm copying now. And I'm just gonna leave it running for a little while, two, three, four hours to see what happens. Uh, see if I can get this at a much higher temperature. This is the only one set 154. And I'll let you know how far it goes. You can hear the fans going off on the actual computer so I'm gonna test it I'm gonna leave it on all night see what happens have those programs running and see if I can overheat this down it's been two hours and I've gotten it up to 176 degrees Fahrenheit it was averaging 159 went down to 149 and now it's at 176 and again I'm trying just to run as many things I'm doing a copy and paste let me check the other um, hard drive that one's at 163 I want to see if anything happens I'm running all these different types of programs to see if I can get it running really hot and it's working and I'm also copying and pasting um, uh, a 20 gig file. Hold on one second, let me uh, do that again. It went up when I started to, when I did the paste, and it's dropping again. So let me get back to that. Okay, let me paste it back onto the desktop. I'm going to replace, okay. Pretty fast with copying, but the temperature goes up and that's a current. So I'm at 168. Okay, it went down 158. All right, they're going down even with the copying. So I think it throttles back the computer. It has not crashed, it is not uh, frozen or anything. It's still running. All the program is still running smoothly. The fans are running, as you can hear but it still hasn't shut down or anything. And the life remaining 100%. So after 24 hours of running this, I lost a percentage. I hope uh, this video is worth it for you guys. So after running all those programs in the bottom, 
all of these constantly for 24 hours, as, as constantly as I could, which was the, uh, this was running, let me run it again. Running this thing. And uh, the Blackmagic raw speed test, running it constantly. And the black magic regular speed test. That's because of resolution. Um, it's not used to this resolution. I got to change the resolution so you can see the numbers. But I'm just doing it so it runs in the background. So it's reading and writing at the same time. I did a video already on the reading and writing. And this thing here. So I've been just running these things. And the max, the highest heat that I can get it up to was, I believe, was 176. It hasn't gone up to 176 since it went up that one time. I think it throttled back. I'm wondering that's why I lost the percentage. Both of them have lost the percentage. Let me go to the other one. That one's at 143. So I think it throttles back to not overheat. It hasn't rebooted. No issues whatsoever with the um, temperature at all when it comes to the SSDs. Now... Uh, this is just, I actually um, don't want to open it up and check it with a heat gun. I'm just doing it software-wise. But overall, it's, it, to me, it's just it's working fine. I have no issues whatsoever with it. Um, the heat sink seems to be working fine. And the actual SSDs, even at that heat or that high temperature, it's still running. 158 should be the max. Now I'm maxing it out. It usually doesn't get up today. I usually I'm running it on a standard. I'm gonna say about 120 um, in Fahrenheit uh, or below 114, 111. 111 is probably the standard because I check it once in the blue moon. It's between like 111. It's always in the teens, so no issue on regular like uh, doing videos, uh, compressing videos, converting videos. Any type of transition with videos, anything that I do, uh, the temperature doesn't really, I don't even hear the fan go off as you hear it now. I usually don't. So to me, it's just working just fine. No issues. So I'm going to stop the video here before I lo lose another percentage point. It's been 24 hours and it's working. It's working just, um, uh, you know, I didn't even re notice that sorry it says it right here the percentage the highest and the minimum uh, well it's been lower than that so I don't know what where this is coming from because um, I guess this is during the 24-hour period I'm not sure uh, let me see what it says here Oh, okay, so it's within the 24-hour period. So the average minimum when running this program, not the actual heat, you know, it, it's not showing you, and it's not monitoring the background, that's what it is. So it's, it's telling you the temperature, the minimum, the maximum, while it's been on, running. So it should be 170-something here. And I don't know why it's at 165 because I saw it at 176. So I wonder if something's up with this software. Yeah. But I got it up to 176. Let me give it a couple of minutes to see what, um, something. So I'm a little bit confused. I haven't rebooted. And, you know, I just stopped the video to think. Did I restart the computer at all, or did I um, in any way, shape, or form restart the program? No, it's been running in the background. Uh, I woke up about 3 in the morning, and I passed by it, and we got up to get a drink of water. And it was still running with the fans going. Um, I don't know why I didn't read the 176. It did get up to there. As you saw in the earlier video, so I don't know what's going on with the actual software. I don't know. 
I didn't see it reboot or restart or anything, so. And all of the programs wouldn't have just started up by itself. So, yeah, I got it up to like 176. I don't know if maybe there's a, a you know, maybe there's a 12 hour, 10 hour maximum regards to the minimum maximum and it resets itself. Or maybe I reset it by accident. Not sure. Um, let me see. I don't think I did. But I could have reset it by accident. Oh, and I was doing copy and paste with 40 gig files during the middle of the night, too. Um, I am not doing that right now, but there's a 40 gig file. I just, uh, well, it was a 20 gig file turned it into a 40 gig file and I was copying and pasting to the desktop um, I must have done that like 50 times so uh, that also added to the uh, trying to stress out the SSD so it seems fine again 150 159 okay so 158 is the maximum you should get it to. I think I'm pushing it more than it should be. But 159, I never get it. Regular standard use, gaming, uh, using it to convert videos, you know, any kind of intensive processor. Uh, I guess I'm not using the hard drives during those times as much. There's not as much of a read and write as I'm fortunate to do now. And that's why I never get these temperatures, usually. Uh, besides that, it's, you know, it's working fine. The uh, SSD, no issues, no reboots, no overheating. It's not shutting down. It seems to be working such just fine. It's been well over a month, I believe, since I've owned this laptop. And I'm very happy with the 4 terabytes. I'll have all information below, including the link to the video I did in regards to the SSDs that I installed into this laptop, the Dell X17R2. And you can look at that if you want. Awesome. All right, I hope this video is helpful. I hope you liked it. Let me jump and check the other one. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye now. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them below. So that's one of them. And that's the other one. That's the other one. And it fluctuates. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down as it's running the programs. And I do have it off the table with these little stamps that I purchased. I did a video on that also. They work very well. Keeps it off the table so that this more airflow underneath the laptop. All right, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye now.